Hi, I'm Cory Barker, and in this short video I want to talk to you about the infinite world of textures out there and the infinite possibilities you have using Adobe Photoshop. One way is to take a simple texture and layer it over a photograph. Modify the blend mode and layer opacity, then use a layer mask to reveal the subject, leaving the texture in the background. Textures also play an important role in 3D. Here in Photoshop you can create various 3D elements and wrap textures around them and even modify them in the three-dimensional space as you can see right here on the surface of the object. Another great way of acquiring textures and patterns is using Adobe Capture. This mobile app allows you to capture a segment of an image and turn it into a custom pattern. You can even adjust the orientation of that segment to further modify the pattern. Once you're done, you can go ahead and give it a name and save it to your Creative Cloud to access later in Photoshop. Textures can also be made into brushes by isolating an area of the texture, then adjusting the contrast then just define the brush and give it a name. Next, you can add a silhouetted character to a dark background. Now go and select the new brush, then use the brush options to modify its behavior. Now just paint in the background to reveal the silhouette and the new texture. You can also define a seamless texture as a pattern and then later apply it as a layer style, which gives you the advantage of adjusting the scale because it will tile the pattern automatically. To create your own seamless texture, just use the offset feature to reveal the tiling edges of the pattern. Then just make a selection over the area of those tiled edges, then do a content-aware fill. Then just go ahead and define the pattern and give it a name. Another great resource is Adobe Stock. Just do a search for seamless texture, then download any comps you find to your Creative Cloud folder. And lastly, one of my favorite resources for textures is my very own smartphone. You can take a lot of great textures in the world, you just have to look around and see what's out there. If you want to find out more about Photoshop, Adobe Stock, or Adobe Capture, go to adobe.com.